this type of outfit does not go with that type of occasion. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank everyone that left beautiful comments for me. Like, you guys showed so much support on my first video. And yeah, you guys showed so much support and left beautiful comments in my comment section. And I'm so grateful for that. So obviously, your comments are going to be somewhat on the screen. I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be giving guys tips on how to always look good. So I'm going to give you guys tips on how to always look good and my first tip is dress according to the occasion. You need to know when to wear what. I've also seen some guys going for a prom event and putting on shirts, drag jeans and trainers. Like, where are you good? Like you could pick any other day in the year to put on your dress, sorry, you to put on your durag, to put on your their name to put on your trainers but you chose your prom night and i'm more confused than ever because you should <laughs> you should know how to just according to the occasion if you're invited for um an event and then there's a color code you should always dress according to the color code like obviously it's not every time you have the color in the color code or whatever but you could wear like a color that is close to it for instance if you're asked to wear white you could wear cream or you could wear like beige or you could wear something very light and like close to white if you're asked to wear purple you could even probably wear lilac but don't go and wear red do you get what i'm saying like wear a color that is in the frame like that is quite close to what you're asked to wear the next point is accessorize hi i meant accessorize as in the verb for those that think i mispronounced accessories this I wish I could actually tell my younger self all these stuff because when I was younger, I didn't like accessories. I felt like accessories were like too much. My mom would give me like wristwatches and necklaces to put on, but I just didn't want them. I just felt like, oh, my outfit is okay. And then I was so wrong because accessories that like, complement the outfit and take them to another level. Like, obviously, you put on accessories that complement your outfits like don't put on too much like if you're wearing an outfit that's already doing the most you could put on like minimal type of jewelry but i realized that i like minimal type of jewelry with everything so i try to find like a minimal type of jewelry that goes with every type of outfit like, you could like really dress anyhow you want you could pair it with anything as far as it looks good and as far as it complements it but i'm not saying that you should look scary with your accessories for guys i know a lot of guys have this mindset that accessories are for ladies and i feel like that's so wrong because Accessories on men so it's attractive and it also shows that you're a very stylish man. So yeah, accessories on men also look nice like your rings and your like wristwatches or your uh, like bracelet or something. You could put that on, yeah. So accessorize properly and yeah, but don't look too scary with it. The next point is your fragrance. You always have to smell nice and you have to know how to match your fragrance to your outfit to the occasion. So everything is kind of linked. That's how you look good. If you're going for an event with a lot of children and like an event with like babies or maybe like a naming ceremony or some an event that is just very like tender, don't put on a fragrance that is so heavy and so strong that it causes people around you to like like react to it or something. If you're going for an all nighter or if you're going for um I don't know, an event that is like sporty or something that will take up your energy, make you sweat or like you spend a whole, a long time there, then you can probably put on a stronger fragrance because you need your fragrance to stay on you to like a long time. So you put on lighter fragrances when you're going for like lunch dates, when you're going to visit people, when you're going for like stuff that are very like... Then the next point is don't be scared of colors. Like I said earlier, I wish I could tell my younger son this because when I was younger, I was so scared of colors. I felt like because I'm so dark, right, the color would make it so obvious that I'm so dark because the color is so bright. So it would make it obvious that the person behind the color of the outfit is like really dark. Dark people wear brighter colors. It will always make your color pop. 
you're, it's not as if it's making you look like you're so dark obviously you're dark there's nothing you can really do about that and you look very beautiful shout out to all my dark skin beauties i love guys and also my light skin beauties or whatever so anyways um wearing lighter colors if you're dark skin doesn't like make you look somehow like i wish i knew this earlier because i just was always wearing darker colors and i was always wearing like, colors that would just make me look tall and there was nothing to it so the next point is what's the next point again oh yeah the next point is always shop according to your body type always wear clothes according to your body type because a lot of times we go on the website and the model is looking beautiful with outfits and then we get them we buy the outfits and then it doesn't look the same way it looked on the model on us which is not the website's fault i mean some websites now they categorize outfits according to like the body type like petite tall plus size and everything so i feel like you should shop according to your body type and you should also get in tune with your body type you should know what fits you so even like when you shop for whatever you know how to style your outfits on yourself to make you look good to bring out like your nice body shape and everything and obviously yeah and the next point is your posture i mean looking good is actually everything all together like it's not only about just putting on something nice and then just going out the way you carry yourself also really matters i feel like if you walk and you're slouching and you're dragging yourself or you're walking really slow and like this was a trend when we were in school like walking really really slow and walking really like because it was like for cool guys like why are you running why are you running slow like cool guys walk slow i feel like if you do that <laughs> It's not really cool to walk too slow. I mean, you could walk slow because you don't have to walk fast and because then you look like unsettled and everything. But you could just walk like in a proper, normal pace and also carry yourself from walk with like charisma. Yeah, do stuff with charisma. Always like carry yourself properly. That is very key. Carry yourself properly is very key. Yeah, I think I've said everything I have to say. And then obviously, please subscribe and join the gang, join the family, join the team and yeah and also please leave comments and turn on your post turn on your post notifications so when i post you receive the um notification that i posted i guess that's what it's called post notification like thank you for listening and thank you for watching bye today we're going to film a video about today we're going to no, no.